Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Today we are making a New Orleans classic. We are making New Orleans barbecue shrimp and grits. Uh, this happens to be one of my favorite things to make and eat. So I'm going to show you, share the recipe with you all and show you how easy it is to make. Uh, what we've got going right now, we've got a pan with a little bit of chicken broth in it. It's starting to come up to a simmer. So I'm going to add my, my milk because I always add a little bit of milk to my grits. It gives it a little bit of uh, creaminess. And I think it makes it taste good. And just kind of, kind of want to let get let that get a little warm, and then we'll add our grits. So you don't want to add, but you can add milk right away in the beginning, let it all come to boil together. But you gotta be careful because if milk boils over, uh, you have a big mess and it doesn't taste very good. So you just want to be careful when you do that. I'm going ahead and add my grits now because my milk was kind of room temp, so it didn't take as long to to heat up and I just made one of the first mistakes of making grits is I didn't stir as I added so when you make sure when you add your grits you stir and that will help make sure you don't have lumpy grits so I'm just kind of stirring this up a little bit to make sure that it doesn't get lumpy and I'll start thickening it up on you here in just a second whenever uh, whenever it's going to start absorbing all the liquid they'll have a nice this creamy texture I'm using a uh, yellow formula as opposed to the grittier uh, grit per se. This is more line of polenta, but it's all all ground up corn. So, so it's kind of stirring this until it gets a little thick. I have a, a cup of milk and a cup of chicken broth, so about three fourths a cup of, of grits. And that will start thickening up here in just a second. And then we can add our butter and our Parmesan cheese. I got two tablespoons of butter and about two ounces of Parmesan cheese. So we'll go ahead and add those. That way you have nice yummy grits. Because butter and cheese makes everything better. And we'll just mix that in as well. Starting to get little thick. I like my grits a little on the looser side so that way you know you get it's not just a solid blob of grits. Now we can actually use a spoon and you know scoop them up as opposed to trying to have to like force a fork or a knife through it. So it's going to be a little on the creamier side and again that's how I like them. If you like them on the thicker side add a little more a little more grits grits to it and you'll have a nice a, a firmer grit this is looking pretty good so we're going to leave that there i got pan over here warming up a little bit of oil in it i'm going to go ahead and add my shrimp where did my tongs go there they are i'm going to add my shrimp and these only take about two to three minutes per side uh, depending on how big your shrimp are, will determine how fast they cook. And while we're letting that cook, I'm going to go ahead and get my garlic ready for my sauce. I've got three cloves of garlic here. I'm just going to smash it real quick with the back of my knife. Whenever you do this, make sure you put your knife flat side down. Keep your fingers up so you're not curling underneath that blade there. It's sharp and it hurts. I'm just kind of giving a little, little tap with the palm of my hand. We'll just peel the skin away and give it a rough shot. So there's a I'm gonna chop this up real quick and probably by the time we're done chopping our shrimp would be ready to, to flip. So this is a this is a pretty pretty easy pretty quick recipe once you got everything measured out. Our garlic's looking pretty good. We're going to start flipping some shrimpies. And the easiest way to tell when the shrimp is cooked is you'll start seeing the pinkish white color on that side, whereas this side's still pretty clear and opaque. So you just want to flip these to the other side and let them cook for about another minute or two. And we will 
take them out of the pan and start building our sauce. Turn that up just a hair. You want, I always try to saute about medium high heat because if you get too high, you can scorch, scorch your food, burn your pans, and that's not, not fun cleaning or eating. So I do about medium high, so that way you have a good heat that's not too, too high, and you, you can, you can fix some mistakes whenever, whenever they happen, if they happen. Let's give my grits a little bit of a stir. They're over here on a low heat. I'm just going to move my garlic over here to the side. I'm going to chop some green onions that way I can garnish my dish whenever, whenever it's time to eat. I'm going to kind of cut the tips of these off. And I'm going to do it on a bias. So that way they look a little prettier. And that way we can, we can be kind of fancy. So... Shrimp's looking pretty good. We're going to add it back to the sauce. So if they're not cooked completely all the way done right now, they'll finish cooking in the sauce and they'll be okay. And they'll carry over cook a little bit in the, in the bowl as well as they rest. So I'm going to go ahead and add my, my garlic. And let that cook for just a second before we add or cook for about a minute before we add everything else. There's, there's still oil in the pan. Still don't need to add any extra oil to the pan. We'll just let what's in there do the job. And, well, oh, this smells great already. How can you not love the smell of sauteing garlic? It's, that's gonna give us so much nice flavor. Our grits are looking good over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because it's getting a little, a little thick and looking, looking good. So I'm going to start adding our, our sauce ingredients for our New Orleans barbecue shrimp. We got our, our garlic in there already. We'll add two tablespoons of hot sauce. I'm using crystals because it's New Orleans barbecue shrimp. You gotta use crystals. That was two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Two teaspoons of Creole seasoning. <coughs> the fumes will get you. Uh, be careful. Teaspoon of chili powder. Teaspoon of oregano. Teaspoon of paprika. And the juice of a lemon or about a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. I'm just going to mix this all up. This already smells amazing. We did this the other night for a class, and uh, everyone that came had been to several classes before, and they're saying this is probably one of the best things they've made here. So it was <coughs> – those humans will get you. It, it was uh, a really good time. Everyone really enjoyed it. So I was going to let this – let's cook a little bit. You can see this nice – Nice color of the sauce. You got the nice dark, dark reddish brown color going. It smells fantastic already. It's going, like I said, I'm just going to let this cook for just a second. I'm going to grab a spoon to get my grits out while that's while it's finishing cooking. Because it's a little hard to get grits out with a with a whisk. So we'll get a nice spoon here. I'm going to go ahead and add my, my shrimps back to the pan. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter. And what the butter is going to do is going to help uh, thicken the sauce up. This is a French technique called a la minute, meaning at the last minute. And I'm going to actually turn the heat off so that way the butter doesn't really cook. It can actually get a chance to melt in the sauce. I'm just stirring everything up, get that sauce melted, or get that butter melted, get the shrimp covered in the sauce, and this is going to be a great, easy, easy dinner that everyone's going to love. If you cut your uh, butter into smaller pieces, it'll be a little easier to melt in as well. 
You want to make sure you use cold butter for this because if you use uh, too hot butter, it'll just melt too fast and not really thicken the sauce up like it should. We've got just about melted. I'm going to do a couple of these just to kind of get everything nice and coated in that sauce. This smells amazing. So I'm going to take a little bit of our grits. They thickened up on me nicely. A little, a little thicker than I'd like, but that'll be alright. They'll still be good. So I'm going to put a nice little pile of grits here in the center. And I kind of like making a little well because that will that'll catch some of the sauce. And then we can take some of our our shrimp. Kind of just drop them everywhere. Get a spoon. Drizzle some of the sauce over top. Get a couple more of the shrimps in there. And now we have a, a yummy New Orleans barbecue shrimp. We'll grab a towel and kind of wipe the edges down because no one wants no one next to dirty plate. Sprinkle a little green onion on it and we will be all set. And there we have New Orleans barbecue shrimp. Hope you guys like it. Give it a try. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, and we will see you next time.